This paper is titled User Scored Evaluation of Non-Unique Explanations for Relational Graph Convolutional Network Link Prediction on Knowledge Graphs. This is joint work with Nicholas Hallowell, Fabian Gendo, and Freddy LeCou. This presentation is outlined as follows. First, we discuss explainable link prediction using relational graph convolutional networks. We then discuss explanation method shortcomings. We will then discuss our proposed solution and discuss performance metrics for non-unique explanations. Lastly, we benchmark state-of-the-art explanation methods using the proposed dataset and metrics. A relational graph convolutional network is an adaptation of graph neural networks specifically for knowledge graphs. This model learns a d-dimensional vector, vector representation of each node and relation in a knowledge graph. This model takes as input an adjacency matrix and a given input triple, outputting the probability that the given input triple is a fact. Recently, several algorithms have been proposed to explain the predictions of black box graph neural networks. There is explainy, where for a given node pair ij and a candidate explanation pair kl, explainy computes the gradient of the scoring function for pair ij with respect to the input adjacency matrix at kl. Additionally, there is GNN explainer designed specifically to explain the predictions of graph neural networks. GNN explainer learns a mask over the input adjacency matrix to identify a relevant subgraph. This is done by minimizing the cross entropy between a prediction made using the unmasked adjacency matrix and a prediction made using the masked adjacency matrix. What both of these algorithms have in common is that they can return explanations in the form of a subgraph to the user, and they can both be applied to RGCN post hoc. Now we will address the shortcomings of these explanation methods. The weak point of explainy and GNN explainer is the empirical evaluation of explanation quality. Comparisons amongst these algorithms is difficult as these papers do not use the same dataset or scoring metric. In fact, there are no common datasets available to measure explanation quality. Additionally, there are no standard scoring metrics to quantify performance. One solution would be to construct a dataset with explanations to be used for empirical evaluation of explanations. However, there can be multiple ways to explain why a link could exist between two nodes. Indeed, it is not trivial to, de to determine which explanation is optimal given many choices. In this section, we will discuss our proposed solution. Our proposed solution is to construct a general approach to building data sets with explanations, where all possible explanations are included for each observation. In order to do this, we use an open source semantic reasoner, CORUS, to build a dataset with explanations using rules. For example, if there are two triples in our graph, where some entity x has parent y and y has parent z, CORUS will generate a new triple, x has grandparent z, that will be a triple in our dataset. We explain with the two has parent triples. This is one example of a triple generated by a has grandparent rule. In this work, we use CORUS to generate triples whenever a rule is triggered and pinpoint all triples that cause the generation of that triple. As another example, we can define has child using the has spouse and has child relations. For example, take two triples in our graph, Adela of Champagne has child Agnes of France, and Louis VII of France has spouse, Adela of Champagne. Using rules and chorus, we can construct a new triple, Louis VII of France has child, Agnes of France. This triple is a fact because Louis VII's spouse has the same child as Louis VII. From the graph, you can see there are indeed multiple ways to explain why Louis VII of France has child, Agnes of France. This triple could also be a fact because of Agnes of France has grandparent Louis VI of France, and Louis VII of France has parent 
Louis VI of France. There can be many ways to explain why a triple is a fact. It is unclear which of these explanations is best. In order to build a dataset with every possible explanation, we perform a user experiment to determine which explanations are most intuitive. In order to do this, we construct a small, complete graph using all family relations, brothers, sisters, grandparents, etc., and enumerate all paths with a maximum length of two. Each of these paths serves as a possible explanation. Due to the small size of the graph, each path can be manually verified. With this complete graph constructed, we perform a user experiment and let users determine the relevance weight for each explanation. Explanations are graded on a Likert scale from 0 to 4, where 0 being the least intuitive and 4 being the most intuitive. In this work, we construct a dataset, French Royalty 200k, focusing on six relations. Has brother, has sister, has child, has parent, has spouse, and has grandparent. Included with every triple in the training and test set are all possible explanations for why a link could exist between the two entities. This table gives a breakdown of the French Royalty 200k. We can see the predicate along with the number of triples with that predicate. Also shown is each possible explanation with its associated user score normalized between 0 and 1. Lastly, the explanation type column determines whether an explanation is logical or partial. We define a logical explanation as one that is always true. A partial explanation is one that is only true with additional information such as gender. For example, using has sister to explain the has brother predicate without knowing the gender, the brother in the resulting generated has brother triple could have the incorrect gender. In the French Royalty 200k, we ensure partial explanations are not generating false triples by first verifying if the resulting generated triple already exists in the graph. In this section, we recommend the use of several scoring metrics to score explanations using the French Royalty 200k dataset. Using the standard binary precision and recall fail to account for some explanations being more intuitive than others. Using these metrics could mislead practitioners into thinking the predicted explanations are of high quality when a more intuitive explanation could exist. Therefore, we adapt generalized precision and recall to account for the relevance weight of each explanation as determined by users. The generalized precision is defined as follows. For one possible ground truth explanation, E sub i, containing a collection of triples, in a predicted explanation, e hat sub i, we compute the cardinality of the intersection between this ground truth explanation and the predicted explanation. This quantity is multiplied by s of e sub i, the user score of the ground truth explanation. We then divide by the cardinality of the predicted explanation and s sub i, where s sub i is the maximum user score across all explanations. This quantity is computed for each available explanation, and we report the maximum generalized precision. The generalized recall is similarly defined, as the numerator is the same as the generalized precision. However, the denominator divides by the cardinality of the ground truth explanation instead of the predicted explanation. Both of these metrics are normalized by S sub i, the maximum user score across all available explanations. We also compute the jacquard score across each available explanation and report the maximum jacquard for each prediction. With a dataset constructed and appropriate scoring metrics proposed, we perform a benchmark of two state-of-the-art explanation methods, explaining and Sheen and Explainer. The results can be seen in this table. The top half of the table reports the performance on subsets of the data using only one predicate. For example, on the has spouse subset containing only has spouse triples in their explanations, Explainy had a maximum jacquard of 0 0.315. We find that on all subsets, Explainy outperformed GNN Explainer across all metrics. The bottom half of the table reports performance on the full dataset, 
filtering the data into subsets for each individual predicate. For example, of all the predictions made by Explainy on the full data set, the triples with half spouse had an average max jacquard of 0 0.133. Again, we see Explainy outperforming GNN Explainer across all metrics. We also examine the predicted explanations with a max jacquard strictly less than one, which we define as an incomplete attempt. This table shows the distribution of user scores amongst incomplete attempts for each rule subset. For example, on the Haspouse predicate, Explainy unsuccessfully attempted to predict an explanation with a user score of 0 0.8 on 327 observations. From this, we can see that both algorithms do not always attempt to predict the best explanation as determined by users, and instead attempt to predict the explanations with the most frequently occurring explanations. In conclusion, we showed that pinpointing can be used to generate explanations. Both Explainy and GNN Explainer lack a common data set and evaluation metric to compare against. Furthermore, there can be multiple ways to explain why a link exists between two nodes, and any data set used to benchmark these algorithms must include all possible explanations. We propose the French Royalty 200k dataset that includes all possible explanations and adapt the generalized precision and recall metrics to be used with this dataset. Lastly, we found that Explainy outperformed GNN Explainer on this dataset and performance metrics.